Today, we bring you a top list of the best casino movies in our opinion. Stories of the night, mobsters, drugs and lucky young people make us focus on the lights of Las Vegas and the sounds of the chips landing on the cloth. Without further ado, let's begin. Number 10. The Gambler Jim Bennett, played by Mark Wahlberg, is a risk taker with two roles in life. He's an English teacher and a high stakes gambler. Bennett is going to stake it all when he borrows it from a gangster and offers his own life as collateral. Always one step ahead, Bennett pits his lender against a gambling ring operator. Bennett plays both sides by plunging into an illicit underworld while attracting the attention of Frank, a loan shark. As his relationship with the student grows, Bennett must take one last risk for a second chance. Bets, debts, mobsters, deadlines and other ingredients are the perfect combination for a movie that catches the public's attention. The Gambler invites us to enjoy this adventure that we would all like to have but that we know is better to see it on a screen. Number 9. Casino Royale it tells the beginnings of James Bond, who has just obtained the code 007. As his first mission, he has to go to Madagascar to dismantle a very important terrorist cell led by Molaka. But there, he will discover that they are actually directed by Lee Shifrey. To put an end to them, James Bond will travel to the Bahamas, where he will try to discover the plans of Demetrios associated with Lee Shifrey, playing poker against him and seducing Solange, his wife. After James Bond messes up part of the plans, Lee Shifre finds himself in charge of instructing a high-stakes poker tournament at the Casino Royale, located in Montenegro. The secret agent will travel there to defeat his enemy in a game of poker. Aided by the beautiful officer Vesper Lind, who is tasked with protecting government money while Bond uses it for gambling at the casino. Together, they must survive numerous deadly terrorist attacks. Moving on to number 8 we have Ocean's Eleven. Danny Ocean, played by George Clooney, is a thief who, 24 hours after leaving prison, selects 11 of the best criminals in the world to carry out the most sophisticated heist in history. Stealing $150 million from three Las Vegas casinos owned by Terry Benedict, who also dates Tess, his ex-wife. Danny's plan is to get Tess back, but to do so, he will have to risk his life. If you like top movies, don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell to see more videos like this. At number 7, we have Runner Runner. Richie First is a young student with a knack for gambling. He should make the place where he belongs proud. However, he has a $60,000 school debt that must be paid next week. Gambling is prohibited on campus, but his plans are to gamble on online poker to earn his tuition money. He has the studied and statistically correct strategy to win. He has played it for three months and has succeeded, but unexpectedly, he is out and without money. He knows that he has been deceived and that they have set a trap for him. He is about to embark for Costa Rica, a country he has never been to. There, he will meet Ivan Block, tycoon and owner of a bookmaker. But when he manages to win what he needs, he is tempted to win more. Suddenly, members of the FBI infiltrated with organized crime will kidnap him to take every penny from his pockets. In addition to being forced to tell them how to get to block, the man he has to meet will not be what he first appeared to be either. At number 6, we have Rounders. Mike, played by Matt Damon, besides studying law, is a rounder, that is, a card player who never loses. When his best friend Mike, Les Murphy, played by Edward Norton, is released from prison and discovers that he still owes a serious amount of money to a dangerous criminal, he decides to return to gambling despite the warnings of his girlfriend and his mentor in college. In the poker game in which he intends to participate to help his friend, he will play against some of the most sinister players in the city, including Teddy KGB, a film set in the world of underground poker. At number 5, we have Croupier. Jack wants to become a writer, but his eagerness to finish his first novel is hampered by his lack of financial resources. He then decides to use his father's contacts, thanks to which he gets a job as a croupier. At first, he remains an observer, but little by little, he begins to feel attracted by the atmosphere of the casino and the London nightlife, an environment that leads him to have extramarital affairs with a mysterious woman. Moving on to number 4, we have Rain Man. 
Charlie, a selfish young man who hopes to inherit his late father's fortune, learns that the beneficiary is his brother Raymond, an autistic man he doesn't know because he has always lived in a special center. Both will make a long journey across the United States. At first, Charlie is a little irritated by his brother's extravagant behavior, but over time, he will learn to know and love him a little more. The intention of the trip is that the center that manages the inheritance makes this economic exchange for his brother, a magnificent play performed by Tom Cruise and Dustin Hoffman. At number 3, we have 21 Blackjack. It is inspired by the story of the young people with the most prodigious minds in the United States and how they managed to become millionaires in Las Vegas. Ben Campbell is a shy and bright student at the prestigious Massachusetts Institute of Technology and, unable to pay his university tuition, he finds the solution in letters. You are given the opportunity to join a group made up of the school's most gifted students who travel to Las Vegas every weekend armed with false identities and the knowledge to tip the odds of Blackjack's success in their favor. Under the guidance of his math teacher and statistician Mickey Rosa, the code to success has been cracked. By counting cards and employing an intricate system of signals, the team can achieve colossal success in the casinos. Seduced by the money, the Vegas lifestyle and his smart and attractive teammate, Jill Taylor, then begins to push boundaries. While counting cards isn't illegal, the stakes are high and the challenge is not only to keep track of the numbers but to stay one step ahead of the menacing casino cop called Williams. At number 2, we have Indecent Proposal. David and Diana are a married couple in a serious economic crisis. To deal with the situation, the two decide to take what money they have left and go to Las Vegas to try their luck. There they meet John Cage, a millionaire who offers them a succulent deal, spend a night with Diana in exchange for a million dollars. The couple, convinced that this proposal will solve their lives, accepts with certainty that they will soon forget the means with which they achieved the end. A film whose approach proposes a series of interesting moral dilemmas. And finally at number 1, we have Casino. Las Vegas, the 70s, Ram Rothstein, played by the magnificent Robert De Niro, is a professional gambler associated with the Mafia and is sent to the city of Sin to take over the casino Tangiers. But with the Mafia threats backed by the authorities, soon after arriving, Sam manages to give the casino a radical change. Winnings are doubled and players keep coming back and spending impressive amounts. The Mafia sends an old friend of his, Nicky Santoro, played by Joe Pesky, to protect him. Something that Sam sees with bad eyes. Since Nicky has arrived in Vegas, things for Sam begin to go wrong. What's your favorite casino movie? We read you in our comments. Here we leave you with more videos like this.